Today I didn't feel like taking a hike, but here we are. So let's make the best out of it. Try uh, this Canon EOS R7 as a vlogging camera with the kit lens, the 18 to 150 millimeters. And that's what we're doing today. You say you don't wanna get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't wanna break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see in your eyes, your head is full of dreams. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let them flow without judge. There's so many ways to be happy. You can do whatever. The camera body of the R7, if you compare it to the R5, it's a lot lighter. It's probably not made of the same materials either. The R7 is feels like it's made out of plastic for the most part. But even though it's made out of plastic, it feels like a more sturdy and better camera body than like the R10. But the lightweight of the R7 and especially the lightweight of the kit lens, the 18 to 150 millimeter, that comes real in handy if you're going to use this as a vlogging setup. Now I am filming this with the 4K Fine in C-Log3. The problem with C-Log3 is that C-Log3 has a base ISO of 800 and if you're just going to buy this camera and the lens and just use it as it is like I'm doing now you don't get any ND filters with the camera or with the lens so the ISO of 800 might be a little bit too bright on sunny days like this because I'm currently at f22 and it's probably just a tiny bit too bright but with the C-Log3 I am hopefully able to recover the image in post. And that's one of the benefits of this camera, the C-Log3 capability when you're filming. Now I am kind of cheating a little bit. I'm not using the camera as is when it comes to the audio. I have the Rode VideoMic Go 2. I think that's the name of the microphone. So the audio is hopefully a little bit better than if I was just going to use the audio from the camera body. But we can try that. Let's see if I unplug this. Sorry for the noise. So this is the audio from the internal microphone on the camera. Hopefully you can hear some difference. That it is better if I have the Rode Video Mic, Rode Video Mic Go 2 on it. Hopefully. So let's plug that back in. Like that. Hopefully this is better. And the second cheating thing I'm doing is that I'm not just holding the camera. I have the PGY Tech Mantis pod on the camera so I'm able to get it further away from me. Because the lens it is an 18 to 150 millimeter and with the 1.6 times crop of the R7 it's like a 18 multiplied with 1.6 and that is let's see on the calculator 18 multiplied with 1.6 that's like a 28.8 millimeter full frame equivalent focal length so it's not the widest you can get but it is what it is. Another thing I really like is the in-body image stabilization of the R7. 
I think the image as is looking at the screen at least is quite stable, usable when it comes to vlogging. So overall probably a good all round vlogging kit if you want that. There's many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. So if I was going to use this R7 as a permanent vlogging setup, what would I change from what I have on it right now? It would be the lens. Definitely the lens. I would first of all try and find a wider lens. This is as wide as it gets with me holding it just away from my body on the PG wide segment this pod. And the best option that I know of right now at this moment is the EFS 10 to 18 millimeter. That is wide enough. It will be like a 16 to a 28.8 millimeter, full frame equivalent. But the problem with that lens is that it's not very fast. It has a variable aperture. I don't remember exactly what the aperture is on that lens, but I know it's not fast enough. So you won't get that shallow depth of field like you would with a yeah, a 16 to 35 f2.8. So the best option for a little bit wider lens at this moment is the full frame RF 16 millimeter. That's an f2.8. And I guess that's actually it. Probably won't change anything else. It is a lightweight camera and with the external microphone that I have on it right now, Hopefully the audio is quite okay. So does this R7 work as a vlogging camera? Yes, it does. Does the 18 to 150 millimeter work as a vlogging lens? Not that much. So that's today's video. I hope you got something out of it. <laughs> At least I got a hike and maybe I'll see you in another one. Bye. There's many ways to be happy.